good morning guys so welcome to today's video sophie got some tattoos yesterday today she wants to show you guys she did her whole arm <laughs> so she's got love she's got a baby cow a sun a rose a mushroom an anchor some mountains and then on this side i have a smiley face yeah we shouldn't talk inside the house because ellie's really good to go into her crate when we leave but then if we stand in there and hang out, then she's like, why am I not out? <laughs> she's used to being out free, running free. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We're headed out to the tax store. It is five days till Christmas. Five days. I'm just trying to make sure that my presents are exactly equal. I bought the exact same amount of presents for each kid. Every year I make lists upon lists upon lists and this year I didn't make any lists. I just bought stuff and bought stuff and bought stuff. So today I have to count through all of my presents and see if I have the same amount of presents for everybody. I think I'm short too, but I'm not sure. Do you guys do that? Comment below. Um, What's the challenge for our dogs? For the thing, like the other thing that we did with our dogs. What did we do with our dogs? The video that we did the other day. Yeah. We should have added who's best in their cage. We should have added who's best in their crate, but if they're good in their crate, doesn't doesn't show if they're loving. It just shows if they're good <laughs> in their crate. My dog loves her cage. Your dog loves her cage. You should show her cage. It's her den. It's her home. It's exactly like your room. Messy. <laughs> Owners are just like their their pets. We are on the last leg of our journey, you guys. We are getting all of our Christmas groceries. Oh. I really hate that our truck looks like that. Well, the craziest thing, when we were oh packing God. the groceries, Sam was putting the groceries on the conveyor belt, and then Sophie and I were packing them, and then a, a, a thing of tea, Earl Grey tea, came along. And I said to Sophie, did you guys get tea? And then Sophie said to Sam, did you get tea? Because we don't drink tea. And um, he said no, and I said, oh, give it to this lady, the lady that was on the other side of the conveyor belt. I said, it must be hers. And then the checkout lady said, oh, give it back to me because I put it through your order, you're paying for it. And she was going to take it off our bill and Sam said, no, it's fine. Merry Christmas. Have a tea on us to the lady that was getting the free tea that we were paying for. And even though it's such a small, tiny little thing, like it's not a big deal at all. It made the people behind us laugh and smile and made the lady happy because she was getting this free Christmas tea and the cashier and us. It made all of us have a good feeling. Like that's a whole little group of people. It made feel good. It feels good to give things to people, doesn't it? That was only $3 overhead. Was it only $3? Yeah. yeah, I mean it was such a simple thing, yet it brought so many people happiness. Christmas has never felt easier, ever, in my entire life. It's like you sit on the couch, order a bunch of things from Amazon, poof, you're done. Go to the grocery store a few days before Christmas, buy the food you need, poof, you're done. So the girls are going to do a gingerbread house this weekend, probably tonight. We're celebrating a Christmas early. We have Christmas that we spend with family. That's this weekend. Like Christmas is almost here, you guys. And I'm so excited. Christmas is not Christmas without eggnog. So I got eggnog. It's my favorite. Another thing that says Christmas to me is hot cross buns. I love them. I love Sophie's drive. I love it. Like I was in the house doing stuff. I come outside and she's out here working with her pony. She has my drive, you guys. None of my kids have my, my drive. Huh. All right. Oh, look at all the water we have in the freezer. We got pies in here. Um, all this applesauce that I made and I also made apple cider for Christmas. I made pies. Oh, this is what I like about having, oh, where's the ham? This is what I like about having extra fridges. It gives us room to put, uh-oh. <laughs> gives us room to stuff all the stuff that for holidays. I also like having fridges for water, especially in the summer. So many times people come to our house and are like, do you have any water? When we're like outside and stuff. And soon we'll have goat milk. And I have a fridge specifically for that because you have to have like a really cold fridge. I'm feeling super grateful to have three fridges on this property. We just loaded up on shavings, groceries. Where are you? What do you want me to see? Oh my goodness! Look at that girl. 
Wait, I'm coming. Somebody pooped right in the doorway. That was rude. Was it you, Pam? Hi, sweet girl. I don't have any treats with me. Wow, it is dangerous out here. With yeah, hold on. You need a good brush. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, you're so pretty. Wait, I'll get you treats. What's happening? I'm driving her over poles because she spooked at it once. All right, so she spooked at poles once. So Sophie's just uh, reinforcing. I know that this is not the way that some of you guys do this. All Sophie's doing is just practicing and getting her horses used to things. She's getting her used to the sound of pulling stuff. So nice. Anyway, all she's doing is working with her pony, getting her pony used to things, and enjoying their time together. But we've noticed that she's definitely an Appaloosa. But she's doing amazing. She's doing amazing, Sophie. Just seeing her pull that is amazing. Look at her go. Did you see her getting yeah. Yay! What a good girl. Wait, I'm gonna go get Penny a treat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me one of those. Because she really wants to be with me today. Yeah. Yeah, she realized. Oh my gosh. I think I have a horse for Gabby to ride. I don't know if it'll oh turn into God. a lease oh. or if it'll turn into a purchase. Off. It's not exact. It's exactly what she wants, except for one thing. Like oh, I just gave her a treat and I missed it. So it's not like hanging down where she get her. Yeah. Her Our sir single is. She's, she thinks it needs. Is a little big on her. She's not as big as Willow. But she's only almost two. She's only almost two. Only she's almost so two. sassy though. That's hardly sassy for a baby. She tosses her head sometimes. So these are the mints from Sophie's new, mm -hmm. new um, gingerbread house. She doesn't like mints, so she's <laughs> just a horse. Strong hates mints, even though he'll beg me for one. He hates them. Hair, hair, Penny Pickle. That's a girl. Look at how pretty she looks. Except for her eye. Fuck. Yeah, good Fuck. girl. She yeah. Has to it I'm so glad you came to stand out here and watch with me. She's been watching you the whole She's time. a cheerleader. You're Penny, a cheerleader. Penny. Give me a kiss. Penny. Give me a kiss. Here. She, you have Give me a kiss. Do you guys remember when she kissed me that one time? Look. She's like, oh, you're so frustrating. Penny. Give me a kiss. Kiss. Good girl. I don't have any treats. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, wait. wait. I'm not throwing it. Oh. I'm throwing it over the fence. All right. We should bring this in and clean it. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. Um, we're keeping this area locked off. It's really muddy to go up and down here. Okay. So the horse. So essentially there were not really any horses and now suddenly there's two. One's kind of a long shot. A really cute horse though. And then one is almost a sure thing as long as Gabby likes it. So she's going to get to try it and okay. we're going to get to see. Because I wore Crocs and my feet are frozen now. You're going in? And I'm going to build my gingerbread house. You're going to go what? Build my gingerbread house. All right, go build your gingerbread house, Sophie. Look how dark it is in here. Look at the difference with our Timu lights. Big difference. Look at honey. Uh, Sam and Sophie got hay today. Here, you put this away. Okay, so about the horse, I keep getting distracted. Um, I think it's a sure thing. I think Gabby's gonna really like this horse. There's just one thing about this horse that's not what she, that's not on her list. I think everything else is exactly perfect for her, except for one thing. So if you have a list of 20 things or 10 things and only one doesn't match, and it's not a super important one, I don't think, but she does think, then would you still go for it? <laughs> That's my question, but like literally just found out today. It was just like this fluke conversation that I had with somebody and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna arrange for her to try this horse. And then there's another one. Someone else messaged me and has a horse that they think would suit her. Is it just me or is everybody looking wide? I love a clean barn. It's so clean here. It's so clean and it smells so good in here. Uh, Sam, how come we can't get this light working? Dude, no. That bothers me. Like this would be so good if we could get it work. I hear somebody calling. Oh, Ellie. And the baby. Come on, have some hay. She's looking good though. Like I worry about her so much because 
they always push her off, but her she's looking good. Like she's chunky little thing. She certainly doesn't look bad. Here, come here. Here, have some hay. Look. Yeah, come here, have hay. We're having hay. She wants green. Look. Hey, look, have some hay. She's like, no, I'll just wait for green. You guys, Ellie can jump. <laughs> Let's see if she fits through. <laughs> she used to fit through. Come on, out. Come on, out. Come on. Come on. I need to put like at least one board across there. It's not hay time, or it's not grain time. Come on, move your little butt. Come on. So Sam came down with me and we're gonna finally set up my baby monitor. I'm so excited. I'm going to hang it here so I can watch the goats. If we hang it up high enough, I might need an extension cord, but if we hang it up high enough, I can watch the boys and the girls. What are you doing? Are you a troublemaker? Come here, I'll do your feet. All right, we're having trouble with it. We have to make sure your settings are on the gold line. Hello, cute babies. I love goats, you guys. I love horses. And I love goats, and I love dogs. I want a pig because I love them. I've seen them at one of my friend's farms, at the Pasofino farm. I love her pig absolutely love it so i want a pig and i want goats horses chickens maybe a pig maybe a pot belly pig my sister has a pot belly pig a really really cute one so i'm thinking about getting that but that i can't think like i don't want a lot more of other things i don't want a lot of different variety of animals but in the spring we'll definitely be looking for a pig. We have a stall here that he can sleep in or she can sleep in for the winter, a pot belly pig, but I love the idea of a little pig running around. Everybody's bored. <laughs> They're like, this is boring. <laughs> Honestly, just can't get over the size of our goats because when we first got them, they were a lot smaller. And in the summer, like I look back at pictures of them and they are so small. They were so tiny and thin. And now they're all just big. <laughs> Gabby's house fell down, my dinner. Oh. <laughs> see, you see what they did with their gingerbread man? They put a dot there, like one of these things. Yeah. But that just looks misleading. <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. So I'm not see? That. see, it looks just like a little dot, but. The ones in the kit are bigger. That's not a good no, idea. I like that. But that one's like three. Gabby, you have homework? Yes. Yes, she does. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the